Although this pass appears to have been named after the now extinct Quaha, which died out in South Africa at the end of the 19th century, it's far more likely that it was named after Birchall's zebra, a plain zebra which is often colloquially called the Quaha. The Quaha's habitat never extended north of the Vaal River, whereas the zebra was, and still is, common in this area. This gravel pass is just 3,3 kilometers long and has a mild average gradient of 1 in 25. The pass and the approach roads are generally in a good condition and should present no problems for any type of vehicle except in very wet weather. At the start of the pass, the road heads in a westerly direction at a fairly flat gradient, then begins a wide right-hand turn through 70 degrees into the north. The road starts to ascend at a mild average gradient of 1 in 20 through a very gentle S-bend until the summit is reached 2,2 kilometers from the start. Throughout the length of the pass, there are private game reserves on both the left and right hand sides of the road, so keep an eye out for game. The nearest town is Bella Bella, which is Tswana for boiling boiling or the pot that boils. It was previously known as warm baths in English or Warmbad in Afrikaans. All of these names relate to the geothermic hot springs which occur in the region and around which the town was built. Going further back in history, the fortrekker Karl von Heerden originally named the first farm that he established here as Het Bad. In 1873 the Transvaal government bought the land and established a resort called Hartungsberg. At the summit, the road flattens out for approximately 500 meters, then makes a slight left-hand turn and the descent begins, sloping at an average gradient of 1 in 13, until the end of the pass is reached at the 3,3 kilometer mark.